meetings, maybe behind the scenes, off the record, but formalize meetings with, you know, with representatives of the caretaker government or others. You know, because I think, and I want to end on a note that, you know, for me, it's democracy, multi-voice progression, but for what? Because, frankly, you know, I was born during this war, of, you know, of 71, and I am really uh, become quite cynical and disappointed because I think we, uh, Bangladesh has a democracy, but it doesn't really represent the people, and it's not accountable, it's not transparent. And I, you know, go back to your point about doing the post-mortem and saying these opinions informed and, um, Intelligent, critical opinions must change as new information comes in. And I think that we ought to look at what has happened and kind of going forward from there. Um, I just want to respond directly to what Moshumi just said. It reflects what some of the people have also said. If you want to hear Jamati voices, you just have to pick up in Kila. Mm. Um, I think it's a disservice to this dialogue that a lot of people are talking about progressive politics as if progressive politics by its definition is crowding out all these other voices and needs to be more inclusive. The fact is generally in Bangladesh, progressive political voices do not dominate in any media, anywhere. This is one bloc with a small leadership, uh, leadership um, because it's gotten some placement because of being in English, etc., etc., in Indonesia, etc., so it talks about a lot, but I mean, the right wing and or Islamist voice, I'm separating those out, right-wing voices and Islamist voices dominate everything anyway, okay? We're in the middle of a situation right now where this government, um, probably unsuccessfully, is trying to have um, all of these books removed from government institutions only, which is being discussed in the blogosphere as Bangladesh bans Modudi, which is not doing actually. Now, you've never seen an effort uh, by the government to try to remove progressive slash left slash whatever voices from government libraries because they've never been there. Okay, There has been no progressive political domination of anything in this country for the last, uh, since independence. So I keep hearing people talk about progressive politics as if it's suffocating everything else that needs to be space. I know personally, the reason I got involved in the Rishabad blog in the early days was because of the Tipu Sultan case, because that was about journalism and free speech, and it was specifically about free speech that went against that government at that time. I don't want to lose that history. It was our Awmili government at that time, and Tipu Sultan had infuriated uh, MP of that party, and that's why he had been attacked. And the activism was at a time when the Awmili government was in power, it was very unpopular do anything against that. That's why that case didn't have that much support other than in the progressive community or among journalists. Secondly, Anuradha Prashad was then during the next government, which was the BNP government, and it was right after, I mean, I think we shouldn't talk about these things without talking about what Anuradha Prashad was about. It was a Hindu village. Um, it was attacked because supposedly Hindus had voted for the Awamili and Bloc, and this was BNP's campaign of purification. Um, and because the BNP government had just come to power, it was really difficult to talk about it. That's why Dishipa took up those two cases in two different eras. They were very definitely um, against state power. And that's the context at least in which I got involved. I, I work on minority rights and I work on uh, projects that often are going against the state. And now we're talking um, in this seminar context, um, and it's great that people want Dishipa to solve every problem under the sun. So maybe we become like a super NGO that takes on everything, which I think is really unrealistic. And I think the idea of a uh, um, a shadow cabinet would be, I think, really presumptuous for this group of people, everybody in here, to think we could do. I mean, I think it would take something much more democratic. But I think at the core, I know I personally got involved in this organization because of progressive politics with a big P, uh, which often went against the state. Um, and that's what I've continued to be interested in. I'm working on Chittagong Hill Tracks because it's one thing where the elephant in the room cannot be talked about, right? I mean, there was World Indigenous Day programs yesterday, all day, at Shohit Minar everywhere, and people talked about the safe topics, constitutional recognition of Adivasi, because no one wants to talk about demilitarization of Chittagong Hill Tracks, because that's the one thing that people are afraid to talk about, because there's real repercussion. And I, I mean, I don't want that to get lost in this, you know, feel good, you know, let's bring every topic in, and let's bring Jamaatis in. Sorry, no, I mean, if there's a Jamaati voice on the but I wouldn't be part of it. And they don't, by the way, they never think of being inclusive to us. So why do we always bend over backwards? Oh my God, they're so oppressed. I have no voice in it. Yes, yeah, so it's great to interject to that. I mean, we uh, have Jamaati voices as people who are commenting on the block. We don't basically, just because somebody is representing a Jamaati voice, and we do have people who are, in England who are actually actively contesting what we are saying. 
So that level of clarity is there. But of course, um, uh, there are core values. And uh, so people who are actually writing, authorized writer to write on the blog, we don't, we don't uh, have any views that does not uh, promote terms. And uh, so um, I mean, just quickly, at the point, I mean, just like this, and then, then sorry, I want to make a point on how to So I'll just basically quickly, and that's when I would wrap up a lot of the things that have been mentioned. But um, one of the roles we want to play is, and one of the, I guess, um, like point of this exercise is, we don't want to do what other people are doing. We don't want to get into poverty, because there are plenty of groups who are working on poverty issues, and that cannot be our core competence. So if Amplification is needed of the work that is being done. You both, both you by the, you're working on governance issues. We are going to help you on amplifying your role, uh, what you're saying, both new media, international media, wherever uh, it's possible. Into we're not going to replace what you're going to do. Uh, we're going to help you to do that. Help you do it better. Uh, so we point to, we want to actually play a role of uh, complementary role of a lot of these uh, uh, lot of these groups. I think the way actors in the kind of push that role, kind of both has that kind of role versus Farhan and Moshmi that kind of There is a view that um, you know, when, to a certain extent, we did that on the budget issue, which is basically a view of policy advocacy. We have played a role on policy advocacy. We have said that budget eight hours, eight hours, eight but at the same time, I also see the reality in Bangladesh. You know, Bharat there were budget pesh kara hoye the. It is clear our July month is special. Our the chapter realized that the public university the bad day hoye the. Our the to shuru bolo. But that discussion should have happened when the budget was announced, and the reason didn't happen because. ইন্টারমিডিয়েটের <laughs> রোল that uh, we possibly can play where and i don't see many many groups that are doing that we are happy in these sort of echo chambers promoting our views and uh, and at the same time uh, ignoring uh, what the so this is a great example private university student they shot a kill bata wala nahi when uh, when this ban was imposed I and mean, there were three groups who actually talk to the minister to change that but nobody actually the policy makers didn't realize what kind of reaction this, this may actually set up so we can act a complementary role i mean i, I mean they can see that that's coming out that there's that that playing that happy medium role that translating because i mean i'm not going to again jodi jodi bolo jano oi trishtota amar nai ami bolbo je ami sadharon manush ke represent kori ebong amra shobai privileged amra shobai uh, uh, we are people with access there's no denial about that so how can we use that access and that privilege to amplify the demand side of justice so that's uh, i will sum it up so uh, we actually, uh, when did we stop সাইন্সিস্টের একটা স্টক ওয়ান্টেড সো তার আগে আমরা মানে যে আমাদের যে ইন্টারসেকশন হওয়ার কথা ছিল ওটা এখন ছোট করে একটা ড্যাপ আপ করে দেব আর কি আছে সো আম সো আই আই উইল বি রিফ্রেইন ফ্রম হ্যাভিং আ থ্রি ডে থ্রি ডে কনভারসেশন উইথ মোশুমি এন্ড নাইম ক্যান হ্যাভ ইট লেটার আই থিং ইটস ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টিং সো আম খুব সংখ্যে ব্যাক কে কে এই সেকেন্ড দেখতে পাচ্ছি না প্লিজ just Actually, that means we're going to then you need about ten minutes to wind up, right? Less than. Less than. All right. That means we're going to just hold it for a second. Um, Shana, Bridget. At the risk of creating a new conversation, I would just add that what I think is interesting about this discussion is the assumption of who is a Jamaati and what that means. And I would say that there are some women who have written very subversive PhD dissertations. challenging some central tenets that some Jamaatee leaders would hold dear about things like violence against women and maternal health, and that those women would identify with a lot of what your shikha works on, be very valuable allies for us, and fall into this English medium, educated in Bangladesh, educated in the broad category, but who also self-identify as Jamaatees. And so, or supporters of Jamaatees, so I think, I think the degree to which um, we are positioning ourselves as a 
platform means there also needs to be a very self-conscious effort to challenge traditional labels uh, or categories and who is doing what, who is speaking in what voice and for what Totally, totally, totally agree on that. Uh, one minute each. Next, Melissa. I think that actually when you're looking around the table and looking at the writers, you're not really getting a sense of exactly how diverse a group of writers collected really is. I think that's something that's why I'm stepping in to sort of uh, tell you a little more about it. Rishi Pater, at the core strength, is exactly how diverse this group of writers is. Actually, on account of the name, Rupa is not here, Saipa is not here. Uh, if you look at the right-hand panel of Unheard Voices, the list of names, I wish, and I think it's something we should do, we should have a, a profile where, you know, which tells the readers a little bit more about where we stand on things. Because we all have different, completely different political ideologies. And unless and until I can illustrate with all the, you know, uh, behind the scenes chogras we have, uh, you know, I really wouldn't be doing this justice. But we're very, very diverse. We all come from completely different schools of thought, different backgrounds. Yes, English media, writing in English, but only different genre. So that's why I don't think that we really have a law or a rule that either precludes or includes people who belong to certain schools of thought. Secondly, the other interesting thing about Rishi Pat Practice Collective is that we all have very different day jobs. Some of us like nine high have jobs for different times of the day. But you know, we all <laughs> have like an official hat that we also have to don on, which sometimes gets in the way of uh, what we're able to say and what we're not able to say. So um, sort of building upon what Fahan Bhai had said about the shadow cabinet and the other issue about advocacy, I see this creating, um, you know, creating a burden among the community to know because this is something we do because it's very, very close to our hearts. One thing all writers agree on is our definition of justice. I don't think there is absolutely no demon in that I would like everyone to just spend a moment thinking whether or not where are we, where am I, Fariha Sarawat, who works for an international NGO and has to abide by their 20 different kinds of red tape, and where am I, the writer? Hello. Now, Hamad, I, I, I will wait. Hey, hey. You can have it on here. Just a minute. Okay. Okay. I said hello. Now, Hamad, you can what we are talking about, internet blogging is still. I am not sure if 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 I am not so, we are talking about the media drive. We are talking about developing a media category. We are talking about developing a media category. We are talking about developing a media category. Daniel can tell me how difficult that is to do. Because his voice is really one.